allow the mind to settle down for a bit. It's been stirred up by all the activity. There's not much activity when you compare it with the world outside, but still it's enough to get you stirred up. In fact, you can sit here perfectly still and the mind can still be all stirred up. But that's not why we're here. We're here to get the mind to settle down. It'll take a little while, but when you're ready to settle down with the breath, you might nudge it in that direction by reminding yourself of why it really is good to be meditating, the skills that you need to deal with all the, the issues in life, the issues of dealing with other people, the issues of having a body that you have to feed, and then it's going to grow old on you, and then it's going to get sick, and then it's going to die, without asking your permission at all. You have to prepare for these things, and that's why the qualities of the mind are really essential. Because if these are solid and strong, then you can deal with anything that comes up. If they're not solid, then you get blown away by even the slightest breeze. So you can think of the ways of the world as being like winds, like the wind we're having now. We're pretty lucky right now. We've got the, the mountain in the way. A little bit further south, and the winds are pretty strong, I'm told. So we have some protection. But it isn't always that way. Sometimes the winds come barreling right down from that pass over the mountain there. And so the ways of the world are what? There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status. There's praise and criticism. There's pleasure and pain. That's pretty much it. That's what the world has to offer. You can't let yourself get blown around by these things. The Buddha's image is of a stone pillar. Sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried down in the rock, so that no matter which direction the wind comes from and no matter how strong the wind, the stone pillar doesn't shake at all. You want to get your mind to be that solid in the face of whatever's going to come its way. And that's why we need mindfulness and discernment and all the other good qualities of the mind, so the mind can be really solid in the face of these things and not get blown around. Because when you get blown around, you lose your sense of north and south, east and west, right and wrong. You end up saying and doing things that can be really harmful, thinking things that are really harmful. So work on your mindfulness. Each time your mind slips off from the breath, remind yourself, hey, that's not where we're here. We're here to focus on the breath. So be mindful, alert, and ardent. And these are the things that make the mind solid. So it doesn't get stirred up or blown around by anything at all. That's when it can be at peace. It knows about things, it's aware of things, but it's not blown around by them. That's the quality of mind we're after. <laughs>